Flags I find epic. 1836 Sweden Norway Union flag proposal. I feel like I've found gold. You have. Look at that. They like, turned the crosses into swords. Uh, that's actually really cool. We all know flags that contain other flags. Quick, name one. Um. Uh, <laughs> why did I put myself under unnecessary pressure? No one asked me to do this. The Norway flag has, like, the Thailand flag hidden inside of it, as well as a bunch of others. But what about flags that contain themselves? Ooh, here are the eight country flags that technically do. Well, this is actually epic. I don't know how no one's pointed this out before. Obviously, Monaco, Poland, Indonesia have themselves inside of them, but Seychelles, technically? Benin, yeah? Ukraine, obviously. Madagascar, yeah? And then also Czech Republic. Satisfying. I'm moving from Ireland to Italy soon. So I made a custom flag for myself. Oh, you've just, you've blended the, the colours. Okay. That looks really nice. Yeah, that's good. Have fun. USA flag, Papal flag, and two flags representing the Kingdom of Jerusalem and the Eastern Roman Empire. I mean, they must just be flag enthusiasts. That's such a random array of flags. If you go to Google Earth and go to Street View in Antarctica, you will find a lot of country flags. Side note, what an epic video that would be, going to the South Pole and shoving a flag down. But there is one that is blurred. Does anyone know? I am predicting that it is not a flag that's blurred and it's probably just a person that was stood there that's been blurred. Yeah, it's just a person. Here's all the flags in full, by the way. Isn't that, like, probably cute? Imagine me just shoving, like, a little one with me face down here. <laughs> oh, a family friend gave me this chocolate from Kazakhstan. It's the Kazakhstan flag just whacked on the chocolate, and it's all gold and sparkly. Oh, that is beautiful. I don't know why I like that as much as I do. 24th of January, 2021, Lincoln, Nebraska, adopts a flag inspired by the city's art deco heritage. Oh, it's a very nice-looking flag. I like it. Go on, Lincoln. Lincoln, Nebraska. Inspired by their pretty architecture. It's a nice flag, that one. Ooh, California, but with the official state fossil. So it's a saber-toothed tiger, apparently. That's pretty epic, you know. Does each US state have its own state fossil? That seems unnecessary. Yeah, they do. Oregon state fossil is the Metasakawa, which is some, like, pretty fern type thing. Israel bans the Palestinian flag. This dude makes a flag that says Palestinian flag. <laughs> flag of international organizations. Ooh, enhance, enhance. Obviously, I've seen United Nations before and I've always thought it's a really nice looking flag. I've seen EU flag, African Union, yeah, but all of the others I don't really recognise. There's some really, really interesting ones. Eurasian Economic Union. NATO, obviously I've seen NATO. Turkic Council, that's a cool looking flag. Every single one of these is really nice looking flags to be fair. Very nice international organisation flags. Found this beautiful flag design while searching for the Wellington New Zealand flag. So this is the Kansas Wellington's flag. And I mean, it's alright. It kind of looks like a racetrack from above to me. Anyone else? Zamora Spear weirdest flag in the world. That's what the flag's meant to look like. I assume the wind had ripped it up. Research, research. Oh, it's all split up. So you can have it like that in one, which looks really kind of gross. It looks like some mince or something, you know what I mean? But this is what it's like when it's wafting about. That's weird. <laughs> I mean, I'm always up for mixing it up, but that's a pretty terrible looking flag. That being said, 30,000 likes on this video and I'll buy this t-shirt. I found an old German flag book from 1975 lying in my grandma's attic. Here are some flags and countries that don't exist anymore. All right, Afghanistan still exist, but the flag is very different these days. Whoa, never even heard of that place. Right, old Argentina flag. Uh, don't know where that is. Old Haiti flag has got black in it. Didn't know that. This is extra complicated because it's written in German. <laughs> so I don't know the difference between countries that no longer exist and countries that have a different name in German. I assume Cameroon is Cameroon though. They've got a slightly different looking flag. Rwanda had just an R. It looks like Ron Weasley's jumper. <laughs> Flag of Hitler in Lower Saxony. Where's Lower Saxony? I am assuming it's in Germany somewhere. Yeah, it's a German state. As if there's still a place that's called Hitler. It's quite surprising they didn't change the name due to the negative connotations. Oh, it's Hilter. Ah, <laughs> carry on, Hilter. Carry on. Sorry about that. Color discussion, burgundy. I'm up for it. I think that there are lots of nice flags that have a burgundy bit to them. Morocco, for example. That's quite burgundy, isn't it? Last week was fun. Here's some more mashups. Oh, I like this. Wales and Albania have swapped their creed and both look really good, to be fair. India and Argentina, that works. Brazil and Palau. All of these flags look epic. Israel, the Arabia, and Saudi Israel. <laughs> North Korea and South Korea have merged into North Korea and South Korea. <laughs> Which one's my favourite new country mashup? Um, let me see. It might have to be the Korean one. A complete list of every landlocked country that has a unique naval ensign. Guys, what's an ensign? Okay, it's a version of a flag that would go on a 
bought. Okay, I get it. Right, Bolivia have just gone absolutely mental. Like, what is going on there? Switzerland, quite boring. Uzbekistan, I mean, it doesn't look great. It's quite a complicated looking design if it only takes up 25% of the flag. Serbia, similar looking theme, and it looks like they, like, moved it over a little bit too much in Microsoft Paint. Hungary, yeah, that's all right. Azerbaijan, I can get on board with. And Kazakhstan as well, I think that looks really nice. It's a good looking anchor, I'll say. Overlaying every one of the UN recognized flags allows you to spot some of the most common features. Ooh! So showing both lateral and horizontal tricolor flags are really common. Also shows the UK's union flag pops up a lot. This is really interesting. The harder you look, the more you spot. We've got lots of central emblems going on. And we've got a lot of blue, yellow, and red, it seems. Yet another new Australian flag proposal. Well, I'm on board, so you've got my vote. Random ocean sunset flag that I've made up. That's nice. That's a really nice looking flag. Someone should adopt that. I would adopt it if I was a small county in a US state. What is the flag on the right? Looks really cool. Why is she floating on like a, a magic carpet. What's that about? Oh, I see what's happening. I don't know what the flag on the right is, but apparently it's the flag of West Flanders in Belgium. Well, there you go. My ethnic makeup flag. So you've got black for African ancestry, green for Irish ancestry, and then center structure is Mexican ancestry. Oh, which creates this nice. Yeah, I like it. That's nice. I should do a DNA test and then I could make my own little custom flag based on my own nationality DNA. Although what if my DNA comes back and I'm just 100% white English? Yeah. Cupcake flag of Venezuela. I would eat that. Eric Kai, whack it in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> Anyone know what flag seven is supposed to represent? <laughs> it looks like Reddit. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's audio guide for children. That's really not very obvious, is it? Oh, we can see an enhanced version of the Bolivian naval flag. That's such a strange looking flag. What happened up here? Why'd they go so hard on this small section? Can you identify this flag? I came across it randomly on the internet. It's a kind of cool looking dragon dog thing. Apparently it's the flag of the Ava people, which is the largest ethnic group in Danestag. And Danestag is a place in Russia, apparently. It's a cool flag. I like it. Main symbolism of flags in East Asia. This is quite nicely split up. So China's star is political. What's religious? There aren't any triangles anywhere. None of these flags have any religious connotations. South Korea, cultural. And Japan's the only geographical one. It's a sun, right? Yeah, land of the rising sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? Monarch was the last living California grizzly. The California grizzly's extinct. That's so sad. Is the California flag actually based on this specific bear? I cannot imagine that poor Monarch died of natural causes. Okay, I did some research because I didn't want to spread misinformation. So he did actually die of old age. However, he did sadly have like a life in captivity that wasn't too good for him. But yeah, the current flag was modeled after this specific bear called Monarch in 1911, which is quite interesting to be fair. Found a picture of Cristiano Ronaldo with the Nepal flag. Ronaldo just not really sure how to hold the Nepal flag up. <laughs> What else could he have done? I think that's the best you could do, to be fair. Whoa, mural of peace in the south side of Milwaukee. That's an incredible mural. What a talented artist. Oh, the eagle looks like he's smiling as well. Every county in the US that has a flag. Oh my God, there are so many opportunities. One of these could adopt that nice sunset flag from earlier. Maybe somewhere else will let me make their flag a random British person. A coworker approached me with a bag of random flags and asked if I could label them. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. Oh my God. Sign me up. I'm on my way. That reminds me, by the way, I got a flag sticker book. <laughs> Let's take a random flag. I'll go with Guyana because it's a nice looking one. Uh, I just want to shove it somewhere in my background so that we can forever remember this moment. Is that in frame if I put it there? There you go. We've geographied my background slightly more. That's nice. 11th of January 2021, Mississippi adopts a new flag in place of the one with the Confederate symbolism. So this is the new one. What was the old? Ah, I see. So it was only two years ago, but it's really nice to see that they've updated it to something so much nicer. It's a pretty little flower thing. The flag of Portland has a surprisingly good looking flag. I quite like it. Kind of reminds me of those things that you used to study when you were learning to drive and your driving instructor would like give you examples of like traffic and how they move. But well, that's probably just me. It's Georgia's national flag day. What do you think of my country's flag? I think the Georgian flag's quite nice. It's iconic. It's easy to recognize. NYPD unveil their new design for their cars based on the flag of the NYPD. That makes sense. It looks good as well. It's a cool looking design. Unsocializing the Seychelles. How dare you? You. Oh, well, it's quite nice still. <laughs> I mean, it's quite satisfying. I'm going to keep watching it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Flags I find epic. Subscribe, like the video and stuff. Bye.